Oil City Battles, real talk. It's an update. Fellow, introduce yourself. I don't need no introduction, man. It's Crack Dog, Wave, Wave, Wave Williams. A bunch of other names. Yeah. Wave, Wave Men, Crack Dog, Red Wolf, etc. Whatever the millions call you, bro, there is a lot of different names. but Yeah, whatever you call me, I'm dope, in it. So That's the way to look at it. Call me what you like. So the the main part of this of this is sort of the don't flop sixth birthday, or sixth point five. six point five birthday. Sorry, yeah. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of other shit we're going to talk about because you've been involved in a little bit lately. Yeah, man. My um, name. So let, let's either. let's let's go on dates. So let's start at the closest, which is obviously the weekend. AMC battle that I've done a real talk with AMC about, but we didn't have time to get you on before. You, I know you've seen it. Um, what happened and why? I, guess. All right. I don't know. All right, Tony. Here's a story for you. Basically, yeah, I've been, I was slacking. I'm not going to lie. When I saw his real talk, I was like, yeah, he's right. I haven't really prepped for him. haven't written much. So it, like maybe two nights before, a night before, I've written out my rounds, and I've uh, I've gone out. I've gone out to play pool. The best way I learn things is uh, doing other things while listening to my rounds in it. So I've gone out of a few pals to play uh, to play pool and that. Learning my rounds, I've probably learnt the first round, a bits of the second and the third. I was just gonna blag, blag a bit of the third round, and um, and I've got an inbox off. Jace, his name's Jace or something. He's battling Akers at some event. Who knows, innit? Yeah. But basically, I got an inbox from him saying, oh, like, have you, have you heard the EMC is not doing the Clash? And I was like, nah. Like, as far as I know, like, he's doing the Clash, innit? And this was the day before, like, the event, like, midnight the day before the event, innit? And I was like, nah, as far as I know, he's coming, innit? And he's going to do it. And I was like, all right, cool. Like, fair enough. Like, Oh, sorry. Wait, what did I just say? Because I, I rang, I rang like, as far as I knew, he was going to do it. Yeah. And, um, and then JC said, oh, Akers told me, like told him, that um, Akers wasn't going to do um, the clash with him, but also the EMC wasn't going to do the clash with me, that he couldn't. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, is that so? Like, and then he sent me a little picture of Akers saying that Akers apparently got offered me at King of the Ronalds because EMC couldn't do it. Now, I don't know how much truth there is in that, so I gave Mickey a bell. I gave Mickey Worthless a bell at midnight. Like, I didn't really want to ring him that late, but I thought like he'll probably be up, so I'll give him a bell. Rang him up, and I was like, "Yes, Mick. Like, what's good?" He was like, "Yeah, what's cracking? Like, what's going on?" And I was like, "Yo, like, is EMC doing this battle? Like, is it happening?" And he was like, "Bro, like, as far as I know, the battle's happening, isn't it?" And I was like, "Cool. I'm gonna take Mickey's word for it." He was like, "Do you know what? I'll ring EMC now, and I'll get back to you, innit? And I was like, cool. He never got back to me, innit? But then I messaged Akers, and I was like, Akers, like, what's going on? Is the MC coming to the battle, or is he not? Like, it's not that I care that much. It's just the fact that, like, if you're going to back out, like, tell me. Do you know what I mean? Like, same way Kojay did. Like, and Akers was like, um, nah, he just done his real talk. He just done his real talk with, um, with Tony. So I've gone and watched that uh, the next day or whatever, or maybe it was on the same day it got released. Fuck knows. And uh, so I thought, yeah, he's fucking, he's trying shit. <laughs> he was trying to bag a waffle cake saying he was going to fucking beat me and that I came to underestimate him and that. And then he don't fucking show up, does he? He doesn't show up. He doesn't show up to the King of the Ronalds event, so. This is what I heard, bro. So okay. from what, from what, from like what I'm hearing in the end, like, so just like Conquer B obviously didn't turn up either from what I'm hearing. Conquer B didn't turn up. So you and Sojitsu got it on in a in a whole new concept. Pause, I guess. In a whole in a whole new concept. It didn't work very well. It didn't work very well. But it was it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. It was quite funny as well because um, Sojitsu was supposed to. Um, I had like a line where I ask Sojitsu a question against EMC in it, and Sojitsu answers it for me. So in the battle, I ask Soul Jitsu the question, and he turns to the camera and answers it himself, innit? <laughs> yeah, mate, it was, it, was, it was pretty funny. I don't think it's going to be released, though, innit? 
because I spat a few bars which I might use in the future, a future opponent. Like I just for my second round, I thought, fuck it, like I'm just gonna spit some bars in it. So I spat, I think some bars for Koje or maybe someone else in it. I've had a lot of people turn down battles lately in it, so right. I have bars just sitting there. So yeah, I think I don't think it's gonna come out. Like I don't think King of the Rollers have much point of putting it out. We'll see though. We'll ask Mickey in it. I'm sure Mickey. I'm sure Mickey will answer. Yeah. Um, so moving on, bro. Moving on. We've got yep. the six point five birthday. Don't flop, obviously. Yeah. Let, let's get you, let's get your feelings on. Obviously, we start day one, bottom of the card, but we'll go through both days. Um, Heretic versus Rob Wilson. <laughs> That's such a. It's a. You know what, like, it's a good battle, man. Heretic's a, um, a pal of mine, man. I met him, uh, met him up in Leeds at the last birthday. He actually, I had nowhere to stay originally. And he fucking inboxed me and asked me if, if I wanted to stay at his, innit? Like, for free and that, which was, which would have been a fucking, like, fucking blessing. Do you know what I mean? Like, he didn't even know me either. Like, he hadn't even met me. And he was offering me to come and stay at his yard, like, which I thought was fucking sound. It was sound as fuck. Um, I ended up staying at Danny Jack's hotel anyway. And it was calm, but the same way, like yeah. And also, um, he's a good rapper. Heretic's actually a a good rapper, man. He I saw him on the Don't Flop 16 Bar Challenge, which was really good. And then um, his debut was really good as well. So yeah, like Heretic is 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 good, man. And Rob Wilson, uh, as much as I I don't really fuck with his style like at all. Like, I think I think his style's a bit. It's a bit too, bit of a fruity swag with that Chichester Ch Ch Uni swag kind of a oh. kind of style. But um, he is entertaining. He's funny as fuck. I'm not sure if he's funny because his his accent or or how he says things is funny, or if he's just just funny. But it will be a good battle. If you want to know my opinion on who's going to win, I'd say Heretic. I think Heretic's got a nice mixture of jokes and bars from what I've seen in his battles. All right. Wilsey Soul Jitsu versus Innuendo Duke. I think that's a mismatch. I think Soul Jitsu and Wilsey are going to absolutely demolish them. Real talk. Well, there you go, real talk. <laughs> Soldier versus Impact. Wow, that's a good battle. I, I don't remember seeing that on the card. P Soldier versus Impact. I I don't want to call it because uh, I. Here's the thing. As a lyricist, P Soldier is is not all that. Like he's good, like he's decent, and I think he knows that he's not the best lyricist. But his style is actually one of my favourites to watch. Like just the his like his track flows and the way he words things and. And the things he says, like he's extremely confident as a rapper, and I can I can really fuck with that. And although I prefer Impact lyrically, because I think Impact is lyrically very dope, I'm not a huge fan of Impact's style and approach to battling. Although I think he is capable of murking people, I also am not a huge fan. I like the thing is the worst thing is though I'm more I'm quite an aggressive battler myself but that's actually not the kind of battle style I prefer I actually prefer like the more unique kind of ways of approaching it people like P Soldier Soul Jitsu and just people like that but so if I had to go for a winner on my personal opinion it would be P Soldier but I think Impact will have well structured and better bars alright let's talk about you versus Shucks then man this is going to be a great battle me versus Shucks is actually going to be it's one of the battles that I'm looking forward to like one of the battles that I haven't looked forward to a to a battle like properly like a hundred percent putting my all into a battle in a very long time since it's 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 crazy to say but since I battled Enigma and that was maybe over a year ago I haven't put my all into a battle even a two on two title match me and C didn't really like it's bad to say because it was a good battle and like over a hundred k views and shit but. Prep wise and writing wise, we didn't put our all into it. Like Skirms and Arc, we learned that on the day, somehow. And then solo battles after that. Oh, now innuendo. In fact, I, I prepped prepped for not as much as I should have, and I was a bit drunk. But yeah, I was a bit drunk while performing. Funnily enough, no one seemed to notice, but it was alright. I got all my bars out in it. All right. 
So, but anyway, yeah, me, yeah, back to the point. You and Shocks. I gave him a call the other day to check what the round times were. He's a sound bloke, man. I've got a lot of fucking time for Shocks, man. He's he's proper down to earth. He's proper cool. Um, he told me thank thanks for for taking the match up, innit? He he was under the impression that I was giving him a handout. Uh, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Like I don't really see it that way, innit? Like to me, he's just he's a dope up and comer. So I want to battle him to to raise his stock, really. Like yeah. like one really did for me, innit? Yeah. So yeah, but that's going to be a dope battle. Obviously, I think I'm going to three zero him. But All right. Zen versus Brucey, which that's I believe is on B. I believe on, on B. B. Uh, I'm not sure. I would have preferred that acapella because I actually fucked maybe, with them. Maybe, maybe it is acapella. It doesn't say on B on here, but then it doesn't say that Dialect versus Bam's on B. If I had to do like two most improved battlers over like the last few years or year, I'd give it to Brucey and Zen. Like I think they're the most two, and that's acapella battling we're talking about, not um, not even on beat clash. On beat, they're both nice on beat, but I don't see that clash working on beat. Well, I don't know if it is on beat though. To be fair, like I hope it's to, not. Cause to think, be I fair, think... to be fair, right? I must admit, I've had a sneak preview of a few of uh, our, our boy Zen's um, bars, man. And to be fair, like I hope Brucey brings it too. Okay. Well, otherwise, <laughs> so man's Zen's in trouble. Pregnant. Otherwise, man's in trouble, bro. That's all I can say. Like, well, Zen Zen smashed it in the title match, man. As much as anyone wants to say that he's he's the lesser of the four, like. He the is on the stage. He smashed it, man. He absolutely smashed it, and he brings killer flips every battle he comes. He can win a battle or flips alone sometimes, man. Yeah, no, no, no. It's great. Uh, he, I've got to say, he's fully prepped, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing footage of that battle. Um, but who's going to take it? He's going to take it. Zen. 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 Right. I think Bruce has perfected his style lately, but I feel like Zen is on his way to the top of the top tier. Double L versus Mr. E. That is a very, very, very good clash as well. Like this card is really good, man. We're only on day one, aren't we? Yeah. That's some fucking dope battles already, man. You've got the crack dog. <laughs> nah, but um fucking Mr. E versus Double L. Very good battle. Nice um match of styles, relatively similar. Um I would give it I'm going to go out on a whim and say Mr. Ree, because I said Mr. Ree for the... Ooh, sorry, my fucking speakers have gone fucked. Um, yeah, I said Mr. Ree for the fifth, sixth, sixth birthday sixth as birthday well. Sixth birthday, you did. And he fucking smashed it. He absolutely smashed it. And I was so glad when I saw him smash it. I was like, yes, I was right. It, the stages are his home. Because I've seen him in the pit before, and it's all right, but I didn't feel like it suited him. Like him versus Bam and him versus Koji. The stage is Mr. Ree's home. Wardrobe is a great stage with a nice fucking crowd, like looking straight up onto the stage. He's going to smash it. And Double L also is going to smash it because Double L's fucking dope. Double L's also one of, the, one of the most improved lately. But I just feel like Mr. Ree is, is so hungry and so he was so punch heavy in his last battle that it's just you're going to have to out punch him or really clown him hard to beat him. And I think that's going to be hard to do. So, Mr. Ree. All right. Title match, main event, day one, Tony D, Yunnan. Um, now, I heard some of Yunnan's shit for Tony back before the sixth birthday. All right. And, and it's dope. Because Yunnan, when he wants, when he has a point to prove and when he wants to do something and he wants to murk someone, Yunnan is, is going to go the fuck in. Like, we've seen it. Like, he, he goes the fuck in when he wants to, innit? So if he preps properly and writes the best bars, then he has a chance of beating Tony D. Because Tony D is almost unbeatable, as we all know. My money, I personally, I think it's going to be a toss-up. I think either of them could win. But my money would be on Tony D, because Tony D is the best. Day two, bottom of the page, T-Kid versus Danny Jack. 
I can't I can't um, call that because I'm very very good friends with Danny Jack. That's like my fucking. If anyone didn't know, Danny Jack is like a fucking brother to me, man. I fucking love that guy. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna call that. Uh, I will say that I like T Kid's confidence and his style is quite um, quite amusing to watch. He's very very cocky. That's all I'll say though. All Big right. up Danny Jack. Cool. Briggsy versus Old English. Old English will win. I like um, what Briggsy did against Bamalam. He had some great bars. He had a good performance. However, Old English will outright anyone, regardless of whether Briggsy will outperform him. Our Old English will outright, not anyone, but the majority of rappers in Don't Flop. So, Old English. All right. One versus Sleepy G, which uh, is it? Is it the final or the top eight? Yeah, it's the final. It it's is the, the final. final. I was just making sure. I'd, I wasn't one hundred percent sure, and again, it's not shown on like that. It is actually something that's quite kind of big. On the it's, cards, it was, isn't it? it's you know supposed I mean? to be big. I think it's, it's just been a bit longed out now because, um, well, a popular opinion to that is that uh, it got longed out because Raptor. Uh, went out, <laughs> right. uh, but who knows? I, it's probably <laughs> just been been longed out because you know it's a bit long. It's like the fourth top eight tournament that they've done, maybe even the fifth. I'm not too sure. So it's all getting a bit long now. Yeah. Um, so for that battle, this is going to be a proper sick battle. One of the ones that I'm really looking forward to. I am the hugest advocate of Juan. Juan is my favorite of all the newcomers. He's fucking 16 years old. With his own style, his he doesn't ever get aggressive. He's just the calmest guy in the world, and he's the, got the driest sense of humor and wit. And his sarcasm is just like to battle him, he'd make me feel stupid. He makes people feel stupid, and that's like what Marlo and Shuffle T do, isn't it? And look where they are. Like Juan is gonna be the future, and I look forward to when Juan and Gemini have had loads of battles and then they battle each other. Hopefully, I hope that doesn't go down too soon because that battle is com the complete to me for the newcomers it's the complete um clash of styles the jokes and then the bars <laughs> right. but also also a big advocate of sleepy g i think sleepy g is dope i think sleepy g brings bars to every battle what i will say about sleepy g and i've said it to him um he's not consistent enough with his punches i always feel like his first rounds are always crazy and then maybe he drops off in the second or maybe in the third. And I think that's not a good thing to do. I think you should keep your rounds, like regardless of if they're going to be good or not, can keep them at a consistent level throughout the battle so that, you know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely on B. Oh, I'd, I'd, say, I'd, say, I'd say Juan to win. Juan just to, to win, okay. Without. So um, I know this battle is definitely on B because Lady Shocker doesn't do anything off beat. So it's got to be on B. Yes. Marvin versus Lady Shocker. Um, Marvin, I'll give it to Marvin. Like I like Marvin on beat. I think Marvin on beat is dope, and I think he has a, a proper, distinctive, and dope voice for grime. Really, really deep and and really northern. It goes off a bit like P Soldier, but obviously not grime. He's, he's more trap, but you know, similar sort of a uh, voice. And um, Lady Shock is dope. But uh, I can't see her beating Marvin. All right. O'Shea Pedro. <laughs> um, O'Shea. However, that is going to probably be the most entertaining. I think that battle will get the most laughs out of any battle on that card on both days. Because Pedro is Pedro, as we all know. Probably... Pff, Funniest, funniest battler, funniest freestyler, one of the best freestylers in the league, and the most random motherfucker ever. Like, shouts Pedro, isn't it? And O'Shea is is O'Shea, isn't it? Yeah. Go yeah. at his style, the best at his style, personally, I think. All right. I'd, I'd give it to O'Shea if I had to give it to someone. Okay, cool. Co-main event: Marlo versus Tricky P. Uh, great battle. Uh, wanted it to go down since I met Marlo, since we battled. I think I told him that after the battle. I was like, man, like you remind me of Tricky P a little bit in that battle. Like You should battle him. Uh, I'd give it. I'd say Marlo is going to win. 
Marlo is actually one of my favourite battlers in Don't Flop. Prior to public opinion like that, I don't like him or that we don't get on or something like that. There's a big thing about me and C Major and Marlo and Shabbatee and about how we're huge enemies. Like It's all a farce. Like, it's all jokes. But um, yes, Marlo. I'm definitely going to give it to Marlo. I think Tricky P has passed his prime. My favourite battle or performance of his was against Seuss, which was a really long time ago. And he hasn't done anything to that level since, in my opinion. So, Marlo, 3-0. Main event, Dalek Bam. Strange battle to me, man. I don't really understand that one. It's on beat. I, and it's on beat as it's well. It's on beat as well. Like, I was speaking to... I did a real talk with Dialect as well. And he's again, again, they're both good on beat. I just don't... And they're... Listen, they're both good on beat. They're both good off beat. And they're both fucking dope. But I don't get the style clash. I don't get where that's come from. Dialect versus Bamalam. I'm a fan of both, but the battle doesn't interest me. So, to me, that says a lot about the battle. And right. Yeah. But if I had to pick a winner... On beat, yeah? I believe it's on beat, yes. As far as content goes, I'd go for Bamalam on beat. As far as the battle on the day and the vibe, the crowd will 100% go off 10 times more for Dialect's bars than they will for Bamalam's bars. It's in Leeds. Dialect is from Leeds. And Dialect has that flow where he can just set a crowd off whenever he wants. Literally. Okay. So... So I'm going to go for Bam on camera and Dialect on, on the day. All right, cool. Um, so that's that card gone through, bro. Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Yes, I have a project in the mix. I'm making a Kickstarter to set up my own home studio. Haven't quite got a link yet, but I assume Tony Ray will be putting the link down in the description. If you want to donate to my fucking studio project, you can get the project for free. There's a bunch of shit that you can get for free. Like, well, it's not for free. You're donating, but you're still getting something back, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And everyone will get a copy of the project for free, everyone that donates. So, yeah, yeah man. man. Cool. Look out for that project. It's all written. Just need to record it. So, we may, Obviously, I will put it in the links. Um, Lovely. Because I put everything in the links. Yes, um, so, is there any other matchups that are in the pipeline, bro? Obviously, we're hearing that as talking to battlers about battles all year long already. Signing uh, Shotty for four four battles already for this year. Is, I, he, I, is he cracking whips at you yet? No, nah, man. I, I don't. I don't get offered battles. Oh, I tell you what, though. Um, King of the Ronalds. Late February, my biggest solo match to date. I can't say who it is, unfortunately, but. It's a huge battle for me. It's the, it's the biggest battle that I've ever been offered. So, live on camera, thank you, Mickey Worthless. You're a fucking legend. I owe you a lot. All right. Okay. That's it. That's all we'll yeah, say. Yeah, that, that's, there's real talk in there again. I'm getting exclusive. I'm getting exclusives quite quite often now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's an exclusive for you. I can't say who, but it's a huge opponent. So. Okay. Cool. Have you got any shout-outs, bro, except for the ones that you've obviously mentioned right the way through the show? Um, I should have. Shout-out to C Major, obviously, my brother, Gems, Gex. Yeah, man, just my boys, Alex, Sanchez, Josh, Mike. All sorts, everyone, all my boys. It would be too long to fucking name them all, innit? But <laughs> if you're supporting me and if you've got love for me, i got love for you, innit? Big up to you. All right, bro. That's cool. That's cool. Um, obviously, this has been real talk. Everyone should subscribe to our channel. Yeah, you should follow subscribe. all the links in the underneath for both the battlers, for both wave. Oh wow, cracker! <laughs> cracker I, like this wave William stuff, but I go with cracker as a bollocks to that. Um, obviously, all the cracker links, all our, our supporters' links, and the rotation, and the logos. Make sure you check them all out. And this has been Real Talk. We're out. Peace.